Ah, I don't know any abo. Now, so what is it? Oh, yeah, not just a summer. Comedy in Ghana has endured a roller coaster ride from its heyday to key soap concert party. Nami or Pemia, a Ghanaian is a Maya to its dark days of Nigerian dominance, to an admirable revival in recent times. If a poor person enters this place and something's eh, I don't know who's it. I know my thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Are you right? Sorry. Look at you. But what has been the biggest challenge of the Ghanaian comic? I was out there and I saw my people competing and I said, we can do it. Right, but I don't know, there's something in the system that does, doesn't accept that and you, you don't understand it. Is it content? You don't know why it's going on. <laughs> or the appropriate audience? <laughs> or inadequate pre-recorded laughter effects? Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> to discuss this topic are three of Ghana's budding comedic talents. SDK has risen to prominence with his funny skits and parodies. Shokia Sule identifies as a humor therapist. And Lexi, the comic, eats, bathes, and sleeps comedy. We join Chief and Plange in the Matic Studios. Enjoy. What is really happening to the Ghanaian community? Is it lack of content or the audience don't you know, really get what you people say or I don't know, or lack of promotion. What I would say is uh, Ghanaian comedia, comedians are the one. I'm not going to lie. They're bread or what? <laughs> Ghanaian comedians no. never, never disturb. Mm -hmm. They always create no, no. original stuff. I'm not going to lie. But let me tell you something. Those Nigerians you see, you, boy, I can tell you American comedians that came in the 1950s 70s. Okay. When you listen to the comedies, Nigerians will use it and say it in uh, pidgin language. Mm -hmm. We think it's nice. Mm -hmm. wow. So for Ghanaian comedy, like we should, we should applaud them. We should appreciate them. It's not easy. Like we are uh, Ghanaians are now appreciating comedy and stuff. But sometimes if you back, back backslide and stuff, but still let's push them. Mm -hmm. They already they always come up with you know original. Comedy and content and right. stuff. There's this notion out there that Ghanaian comedians are not funny. Mm -hmm. are, like, ever since, I think uh, most of these actors have become funnier than these stand up comedians over a period of time. And we, we, we literally are prisoners to the Nigerians when it comes to. You no, know, I, I, I would say um, Nigerians, before Nigerians came into the scene, we were used to the normal concept but the bang 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 but they bang and they need sound effects to keep their whole life up. and they came and they redefined comedy to add that you don't necessarily have to paint your face or dress fine just to make people laugh yeah. you, you can just be as serious as you look and still whatever you do that yeah. comes out of your mouth yeah. still get people laugh yeah. so um, they came to me, so we, 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 it's just like Ghanaians. If the first product that comes, we tag every product. Mm -hmm. So just as uh, every two pieces, it's personal. Yeah. Yeah, every, so when the Nigerians came, our minds were tuned to their kind of. So any Ghanaian who tries to do what they are doing, we feel like this is not our style. We are used to them over there. Okay. So yeah. we are trying to be yeah. like the Nigerian. Yeah. And, Nigeria. yes, and, and I would say it took us a long while to master the craft. When we started, it wasn't, we were not that, that. Okay. But they kept us on our toes. I won't dispute the fact that they kept us on our feet. So I mean, mean I'm not to touch you, not to touch you. But I'm, I'm asking, what in all honesty do you think Nigerian communities have about the Nigerian communities? Okay, I think for the Nigerians, they have something. It's the, their language alone, I think, is a plus. The, the pigeon. Mm -hmm. The pigeon has a way of catching attention. I don't know, but in Ghana, it's universal. It's can universal. Can Everybody yeah. in Nigeria can yeah. understand the pidgin English. Yeah. But in Ghana, as you must decide to do pidgin, yeah. I speak pidgin very well. Not everybody understands yeah. the pidgin language. Yeah. Another thing I would say is that Nigerians have the support. I remember one time we organized a show at the local cinemas, 
and I went to Ghana, West Coast to sell tickets. And we met these Nigerian guys, and we were like, we are selling tickets for the competition. One, one guy was like, do we have a Nigerian on it? And we had no Nigerian on it, so we had to call one comedy friend we have, comedian friend we had, we, we had in Ghana, Pararan. We said, Pararan, just tell the people you are on, on the show. When he said, I'm on, I'm on the show, they started speaking in their dialects. The guys got 10 tickets right there. They didn't even show up on the show. They just got, just for the fact that they have, in but I, I have seen so many Ghanaians that when the argument of, I did comedians funny. He has never watched our video before. He has never, never been to our show before. Yeah. But they are just quick to to just make people believe that, oh, and it's not just comedy, comedy even artists, mm -hmm. any aspect of our life, it's hard for a Ghanaian to recommend another Ghanaian <coughs> to a foreigner to make or paint them. I, I remember there was this uh, Nigerian or a foreigner who said Ghana is peaceful, who said. And Ghanaians were so quick to go beneath the post. To go and tell them that you don't know what you are saying, you know how yeah. we are suffering. Yeah. Nigerians will never do that. You good. would find a, a Ghanaian who would tell you that I mean, me, me, sure Ghanaian movies. I don't watch. I, is the person trying to say we don't have good movies? I'm sure there are Nigerians who do say they don't watch Nigerian movies. But a large yeah, percentage, a larger percentage of Nigerians, Nigerians would love to watch Nigerian yeah. movies or watch okay. Nigerian comedy. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you are here. I'm, I'm wondering. So uh, you do comedy for screen. And then two of them do stand up. They have made the biggest one known to us, which is publicity yeah. and also getting their content out there. It's never a problem of not having good content. It's about finding the good publicity and good perception management for my new comedy. That's for the stand up. You that you do for school and Instagram and the socials, what is your biggest challenge? Uh, my, my challenge, my challenge, my challenge, my challenge. My challenge is uh, how I'll bring up new content. That's always been my challenge. Anytime I'm bringing new stuff, people will like it, they will love it. I know by two or three weeks, we'll go down. So now we'll produce another one day. Good. That's my challenge. And if we we'll quit, something that will be bigger than the first, first, one. The first one. The first one. That means, you know, create, create, you know, being, being creative, it's not easy. And you have a some uh, people at your back, you know. I mean, what I've seen is with a stand up, most of them, when you criticize them, they go. But then, they are saying, like, <laughs> nobody they do. And if they try to do, then you criticize them, man. Then they go. Uh, have, you, have you criticized any stand up comedian yet? No. But, but, you but what, you what is your best, what is your biggest criticism of, of them? It's criticism. Yeah, I don't have it's like when you go online and stuff, you see stories, you hear stories and stuff like, oh, this comedian, you know, uh, it's not funny in the Nigerian. They always they always get pissed when you compare them to the Nigerians. Uh -huh. And I, uh, I feel like sometimes you just keep quiet, work on your stuff, keep working on it. But, but the way you are saying it, okay. So, um, personally, I don't have a problem with him comparing me to Nigeria mm -hmm. because they started way before we started. We might come here this If, 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 if maybe SDK, Shauki, myself, we go for a show, then I end up not doing or SDK leaves our transportation, Shauki leaves our media when you come out mention my name Lexi mm -hmm. I didn't do all. don't give an GH or Lexi aren't you aren't you a group no no music they are a group but if BTM is not what they are from they are a group because the more you drum is GH from the so 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 you know what they are a lot of you move and you move together you know we move as a mention us as a group but you may have been on on the show as group if you do that every time look this guy's effort will never be recognized. Yeah. If he's doing well, nobody will ever recognize him. Because, because every time he is always being subdued due to somebody's fault. No, it's not fine. At least if I don't do well, let me know. Let's and pinpoint what I have done wrong and I work on it. Don't mm -hmm. just but if you do that, let me go. What did I also go wrong? Okay. Because I also okay. did well. That's good. That's, That's good. my problem. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So uh, to all the bloggers out there, to everybody out there who has. Power to manipulate media or make it better. 
our 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 my colleagues. I'm not a comedian, but I'm not a human therapist, but we're all in the same light. So. But sometimes you go see some of these bloggers and they will tell the story. Sometimes I don't want to mention the blog name. They did the story, their name is comedian, and they sponsored the thing. So that it goes fast. Yes, that is sponsored. They sponsored it. The first thing they sponsored it. They the sponsored it. On Facebook, I'm like, hey! <laughs> so make you go for it, like, what, 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 what do you want? Yeah, okay. So we are, we obviously live in an era where the media doesn't really, it yeah. wouldn't favor everybody. Ghanaian media wouldn't favor everybody. Like, it didn't pay. No, I think it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere, but um, support there when he does work, you know that they are giving him the credit. The hype will still be there for him. But when it happens that the industry never gets the attention when something right is being done. Okay. Foster had um, a show at uh, National Theatre last December. Fill the place up. Capacity top down. Change comedians. Just change comedians. When they were doing December shows review, we had some of the journalists that they never mentioned that. But when Foster went to Glow Laughter Fest, do you have do you have a comedy association? Do you have like, yes, we have a representation. Yeah, we, we have, have a we, we have, we have um, KSM is our patron. That's the stand up. We yeah. don't have like the general. Yeah, yeah. Just I think you talk, was talking about that. We have stand up. We, we have stand-up. we have KSM as our patron. DKB president, Foster Vice. Are they are they wow. taking any steps to have you have you channeled your challenges yeah, today? Yeah, we've tried. We've tried. KSM, for instance, he's been to so many interviews, and every time he says that, when are you guys going to stop this whole argument of Ghanaian comedians funny? When you, the presenter, sitting there, you know very well you've been to the show, they are funny. So you have to change the the topic from being, are you guys still funny? Because if you say that the one watching feels you cry, you are out. But if you ask the question, like, I like the the last performance I watched, how did you guys come? But if I always like, even when you came to my life, I, I, I totally asking, agree with you. That's why asking me, are you guys still fans? I totally agree with you. And that's why you told me this platform for the first session party. Sure. <laughs> but we are going to enter into a different area, man. I, I, I want to know about the creative process. I don't know about you. I just want to know how we start. To, we decide, like, okay, this morning, let me go and do a whole parody of Saturday and do, uh, uh, you know, I want to know how you prepare your content and you as well. If yeah, that's what I want to know, please what do you want to do? <laughs> I will let you know. So who, who is started? Who started for me? Okay. <laughs> okay, so for me, how I get my content, mm-hmm. I, I I observe a lot. Mm-hmm. So I mostly get my content from what I see. Maybe you're in a trotro and there's this woman whose kid is, is pulling you and it's so annoying and you can't do anything about it. So I what this career story. So I just chat it down and then I add some flesh. So usually I try my stuff on friends. So oh, we are having friends? A, are they are they honest with you? No, I don't tell them it's a joke. Um, I just bring it up in a conversation and I see their reaction. Okay. So all your content comes from real life situations. No, and some are from my personal experiences. Mm-hmm. For me growing up, say a compound house. And they, they, they are beating you. You know how compound houses are. So the experiences you gather from those places, they are beating you, and, and your mom is beating you. Then the neighbor will come to rescue you in your head or by Jimmy. She come and beg. And when they stop beating you, you know, so I said, So that kind of thing. I remember I just trying them. I'm a Muslim mm-hmm. and I'm a girl. Mm-hmm. How many ladies are doing comedy? You meet somebody and yeah, comedy. No, no, girl to say, oh. But you know, how does that make you feel? I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Exactly. I get that from you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, you this girl, I know you. You were very intelligent way back in school. How come you are doing that? Which school was that? No, like. Uh, no, which school? Eh? <laughs> 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 school of Hollywood. Hollywood. Don't worry, she'll tell you her school. school. She'll tell you her school. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. Tell me how, tell, tell me about your creative process. How, how, how do you, how do you do it? Y'all should be a bit more tricky because it's video and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So for me, some uh, when I started, I was doing interview. Mm-hmm. I was doing capture and benchmark video. So within that week, I have to get the content. After getting it, yeah, you now have to develop it. Mm-hmm. Develop it. And but, but how do you get your content? Like mostly, it, it comes from music. Okay, it comes from music. Listening to music. Sometimes I'll hear some one line. Just try to develop it. Yeah, I'm most, I'm mostly, I'm mostly don't watch people's videos. Mm. Right. Uh, music uh, videos. No, nah, like yeah, other music. music. Other uh, music. Uh, music. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like when I watch it, it it's it's to, to copy or something. Okay. So yeah, always, I always, <laughs> I always challenge myself to bring something from my mind yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And you know, within that, within that week, the challenge is, uh, I should get a video by maybe Saturday or Sunday. Mm-hmm. And you won't get the video, you won't get the idea. I always have, to, I, I want to be natural. I don't want to force myself. To, Charlie, try and get that. Get yeah. that. Charlie, you just chop, go back. The TV go watch, watch, do the thing. The TV will come, I will come. Sometimes it won't come as me. Sunday after church, mm-hmm. and the thing come. So you have to rush, rush, mm-hmm. write your script down mm-hmm. and everything. Charlie, you have to go over oh, my guy. Write it. Yeah. Oh, I write, I write it. Right. I write everything. All of all my videos, like that. Uh, I love it for five videos now. I have the script. Yeah. Do you do it with your parents? Yeah, yeah. I do it with my parents, my mom. And yeah. Who is the funniest I'm going to? Uh, if it's not your mom, I'll be very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I love that woman. <laughs> like, actually, it's my mom, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, do, I do it with my mom and dad. And sometimes, you know, you'll be calling them late and be like, Mama, I'm going to your room. Eh? <laughs> Man, even that one, man, even they didn't know they would complain about long last they would, they would show up. Do you, 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 you pay them? The coward, the coward way. The coward way. The coward way. Yeah, I pay them. <laughs> <laughs> But they come, I pay them. You pay them for the coward Yeah, I pay them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I... It's very challenging, you know, but we still have to, you know, for the love of Ghana and the comedy and stuff, we still have to do this. I can't remember. The, the, uh, one of my videos, the, the robbery. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you're aware yeah. yeah, the, the one that we were planning. Yeah. I shot it at uh, 2.45 p.m. Wow. Uh, so I have to go home and that up. Because I, I, I went to a place, but I came in it. Mm. So I have to make them up. I have to go and sit and shoot it. So yeah, they are very supportive. Very, very, very. So how is that dynamic working with your parents? Yeah. Your parents are looking for you. For you. Yeah, I can see your parents. Your parents are looking for you. Uh is it dynamic? <laughs> no, how how is that dynamic? Yeah. You know when you are working. Dynamic no, no, like how is it like to work with your parents? Okay, so now, for me, uh, you are so actually, uh, when I'm on set, uh, set, you know, my manager will be like, Child, do what set? I said, I don't I said, no, I, uh, everything I've pictured in my mind, I want it, I want it as I've mm-hmm. pictured it. So sometimes when I'm to this profession, you feel like, ah, you're the best of parents, bro. But you know, I mean, you see them as actors. I see them as actors. I don't see them as man. They understand. They understand. And oh, my mom, they understand more. One time he, he left. She left. <laughs> I mean, she's, I mean, she's the most. Yeah, she was. Like, I'm like, no, 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 can you do it? Can you do it? Hey, no, I'm the canna. Miss, can you do it? Yeah. Like, I'm the best. You don't treat your staff well. Oh, I treat I them well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I treat them well. But, I, you know, I, may, uh, I just want to. Break some changes, yeah, me. very properly. So I treat them as actors, I like direct them, you know. I want it this way, do it that way, do it that way. Yes, yes. You know, but as time, uh, as, as time was going on, they understood the work and that was okay. Everything is fine. Okay. Once it's over, you are able to just start from the Yeah, so, 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 <laughs> it's alright, it's crazy. Yeah. I've seen you perform way back in 2017. I mean, it was the first time I ever saw you. Yeah, yeah. It was solid. 
What went into that performance? I'm an observational um, comedian. I normally people can sit and create the story, but I can be here. Whatever is happening here, I can see it as a joke. And when I write that times two, I can struggle like two months. I just go blank. Nothing inspires me. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. You, you can, you can, you can, you, you can clearly see that most of your colleagues in the drop yeah, new yeah, content, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. and you keep coming. Yeah, you and we have tried. My possible but not to really talk about trending issues mm -hmm. because if I struggle doing something with it, and I can't for the moment, and once it passes, yeah. like I can't. But there are some jokes I, I did it way back 2015. You still get people come to you, Charlie. That's a joke you have been doing me to do. That's what they Meaning it's still it's still something they can relate to. Yeah. So wasting my time or maybe some beef to do or something. I I don't mm -hmm. know. I wait once in a while yeah. and I will yes, mm -hmm. invest my energy in that as well. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but before you go now, I want to, I want to say something because uh, the stand up comedians like now, the way the world will go, people, people are more on their phones and stuff. And uh, I'll urge you guys uh, anytime you go on the show, at least have one person to do video stuff for you. Try and put it on the net. At least if you come to the show, you should watch it. Because mm -hmm. I found one on the blog and everything who say something bad about you. Okay. The guy will be fine, okay. Lazy community. How many views have you made? That's solid. Anyway, uh, we put out some questions, okay? And the, 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 the opinion audience are not going to read out to you. I don't know what your reactions would be to it. But we asked, do you find any guiding comedians funny? The questions that you people get the most. And 42% uh, said no. And 35% said yes, they do. Very, actually. And 23% can't be bothered. What do you make of this? Mostly when I get that, we ask, have you ever been to our show? Mm -hmm. Have you watched us perform? You can only judge something you've, you've seen. You've seen. Yes. And you tell that, I mean, I never will go. It's because a lot of them don't even know their comedians. That would be the Now, this question, this question they ask before Twitter. This question they ask before Twitter. Mm. Okay. Now, your video is on. They will fix it on Twitter. Anyway, it is well. That's what I mean. Because now, where, where we did, you know, we net. So, right. so he is trying to say that you have to make sure that you, you, you now get a full for Like, this is it. In the bar, we cater for every hour. That's true. But the next question is would you go to see a special of a Indian comedian? And the good news is 47% said they would. They would absolutely do. 28 said no, and 25 said for the way. He did the poll. I didn't do it. So, why, why, why? <laughs> so then they said which Ghanaian comedians could could have a Netflix special? Now that one I want you to tell me. <laughs> okay, we which uh, Ghanaian comedian? But that one, I feel like uh, like all time, all time, all time. Can I say I'm going to Can I say I'm going to be careful? Because that one is going to be good. Yeah, I think can I say I'm going to be lazy? Okay, lazy. I'm planning on doing one soon. For Netflix. Yeah, beautiful, I think. <laughs> you know, you know, do you think anybody can do a Netflix special? Oh, definitely. Who? I think Lexi can do one. Okay. That's it. So I yeah. actually put to name the top five Ghanaian comedians in Commodore Bob Santo, Fritz Bar for here seven Acrobato. Uh we're Pat, Clemento Suarez. Alright, so how much would you charge for a comedy special on the page? I I charge uh, from six thousand. From six thousand. So how much you charge for a stand-up show? I haven't really charged. What was the highest you've been paid for? The highest. How much? Is it is it is it small? Transport. Oh my goodness! You don't know what I'm Okay, if you want to buy my content, I'll try it, and you go and show it. Mm -hmm. And take your purview, and maybe we are looking at 80,000, 50,000 dollars for, for, for one hour. That, that, no, no, that, that's why sometimes you might say this guy doesn't put content in it because if I, I know my value and I know that the right person will come at the right time. Okay. But if you need me for a game, the highest I'm taking so far is 12,000. Okay. 12,000. For 25 minutes. For 25 minutes. Wow. wow. That's solid. Alright, all right, so the 12,000, don't let, don't let that scare you. It's still negotiable. <laughs> 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 and, 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 and maybe I check 
You understand? No, 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 the weight of your inventor. Maybe we massage figures. All right. But right. Italy, I want to understand. Uh, if you're any corporate people are watching this and stuff, and I know they are watching because you will know Please respect us. Please, you know, respect our craft. Respect what he's doing. Respect what she's doing. Respect what you are doing. Creating I like this too much. Yeah. Don't respect them. Creating something will be easy. Like bringing stuff with him. I want this. And the most difficult part, and they, they will tell you, let it be funny. Yeah, 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 and it's not just one, they are yeah, just a lot. Yeah, yeah. A lot. Yeah. Media, charges, publicity. You know, publicity yeah. and and also, okay. So thank you very much to Omari for you know holding us down our technical guy, Matic Studios, they've been the place we've been at uh other Desmond, then there's another Desmond, then there's Derek and there's Kiki, you know, everybody who came to Charlie. Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, thank you. Thank you for coming, Lazy. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we found out a problem for the Ghanaian comic. There are a lot, but we hope that soon and very soon the two of us can yeah. take this good craft, so this humor therapy, mm. this rib surgery, mm. surgery. Mm. Surgery. Mm. surgery, laughter incubation, laughter incubation to a laughter stimulation, mm. laughter foreplay, mm. thank you, laughter for action. Action. Mm. Thank you, we are out, we are out. Cut the cut, laughter foreplay. I will be Okay, so they're welcome to the perception party. The party is still going on. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>